So yesterday was a, a very big day for the crypto industry and not necessarily in the way that people think. You know, obviously, yes, this, this approval of all Ethereum spot ETFs is a huge, huge deal, but it's not about them just being able to now get into Ethereum institutional money. It's about the test being over. The toes in the water, which was the these initial Bitcoin spot ETFs, that, that test is now turning into a cannonball. This is where you're going to see more and more and more institutional money really jump in in a big, big way and, and really send the, in the industry on this massive, massive pump. Remember, there are trillions on the sidelines ready to flow into crypto. We've only seen about 12 billion. That's a very, very small drop in the bucket. Now, what this leads to the next question being is, what is going to be the next product that gets a spot ETF? Because institutional money, they don't stop here, right? They continue to push and push and push, and they want their fingers in more and more and more things. They want more opportunity. So the question then is, is SHIB going to be the next spot ETF? What product is going to be the next spot ETF? And I have to say this, I don't think that SHIB is the next one. But I believe this really raises the likelihood of one coming down the line. Even someone like Shaitoshi has questioned, you know, does this pave the way for SHIB? And, and yes, it does, right? Even an asset that the SEC has had their eyes on lately that they've been questioning just got a, a spot approval, right? A spot ETF approval. So I've seen it floated where uh, I think it was a CNBC analyst was talking about Solana. It was a hidden shill, right? Is Solana going to be the next spot ETF? No, I don't think so. I think in all reality, it's likely that we see a Bitcoin Cash and a Litecoin spot ETF before any of these other assets. And the reason why is, if you guys haven't noticed, right now they've been kind of treading along those lines of what they consider to be a commodity, which would be Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash. And the reason why is, you know, the SEC is the one that does, in fact, have to approve these. If they consider an asset to possibly be an uh, alleged security, right, they are not going to do an approval right now, at least. Now, may this ch this might change down the road, right? I know that with uh, the, was it Fit 21, the approval in the House, well, we got to see if that gets through all the way. But with that approval, it brings in the CFTC and things might, in fact, change for most crypto assets as a whole. But when I look down this list, what I see a lot of is centralization. I see a lot of founders or treasuries or things like that that have big bags that can, in fact, dump on the industry. When I look at something like Shiba Inu, it's a decentralized asset. There are no hidden keys, right? It is honestly, it's probably the one that would have the best path towards getting towards or towards getting to a spot ETF. Now, I have to say is this. The market cap needs to be higher. It needs to gain a lot of ground still. It needs to have more time in the industry. But that is, it's very, very quickly cementing itself. It's very, very quickly showing strength and, and becoming one of the most dominant assets in the space. If you exclude stables, like I always do, it's a top 10 coin in all of crypto. I think it's more of a matter of when than a matter of if. So be prepared. Big things are coming for this industry as a whole, and I think it's going to look drastically different in the next five to 10 years. So I appreciate you guys as always. Would love to hear your thoughts on this as well. Ha appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Show your love below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.